Hello everyone, this is part three of the Limo Anywhere Getting Started Guide. In this video, we're going to cover some of the important terminology you need to know and understand to become proficient at Limo Anywhere. A quick note, there'll be no specific order while I'm going through these terms, but I will have them up on the screen with the definition. After we read them together, I'll add some additional context after each one. Let's get started. Our first term, agent. An agent refers to an individual or company that generates leads and bookings for your transportation business in exchange for a commission. So in Lemo Anywhere, that's going to be internal employees, travel agents, or hotel concierge services. Term number two is affiliate. An affiliate is another black car or transportation company that you partner with to expand your service reach and handle bookings you can't fulfill directly. Limo Anywhere has LA Network and it does help you facilitate building your affiliate network. You can also fulfill more bookings by using your affiliates as additional inventory. With that being said, you can grow your business without the need to invest in a large fleet or expand your physical presence. Our next term is alias. So in Limo Anywhere, an alias refers to an alternative business name under which you can operate within a single Limo Anywhere system. So this feature is particularly useful for companies that are operating multiple brands or they're operating separate entities in different cities, you can run those separate brands or separate entities inside of one Limo Anywhere system. So next up is billing contact. In Limo Anywhere, a billing contact is the person or entity responsible for paying for transportation services. Sometimes a person is its own billing contact. Sometimes an individual or entity can be a billing contact for another individual or entity. Next is booking contact. In Limo Anywhere, a booking contact is a person who arranges transportation services on behalf of someone else. So in Limo Anywhere, there is a fill on the reservation for booking contacts. Um, so that's simply whoever is booking the reservation. Uh, sometimes the booking contact can be the passenger. So if there's a single person calling in wanting a reservation, they're booking it, they can be the booking contact and the passenger. If there's a corporate account that has an executive assistant that books for everyone that you have for that account, um, then they can also be a booking contact as well. Next is company ID. Uh, the company ID in Limoniware is a unique code that identifies your business within the Limoniware platform. So your company ID functions as your business's unique identification code. Um, you mostly use it to log in, um, but you'll also use it when you call support and we use it in the Limo Anywhere network when you are farming in and out trips to your affiliates. On the topic of identifiers, our next one up is confirmation number. In Limo Anywhere, a confirmation number is a unique identifier assigned to each reservation. So each reservation that you create gets a unique code. It's generated automatically and it is how you will reference your reservations. It's on all your paperwork you send to your customers and it is the best way to search for reservations inside of the system. So typically, if a customer calls in, you're going to ask them for the confirmation number and you can search for it in the global search. Confirmation numbers are found on all client facing documents. So it'll be on confirmation emails, any kind of trip sheets or um, even invoices that are sent to clients. Our next term is eFarm. In Limo Anywhere, eFarm refers to the electronic process of sharing or transferring reservations between transportation companies using LANet, which is Limo Anywhere's affiliate network. So there's two types of e-farms. There's farm in and farm out. On farm outs, that is when you are sending a trip to an affiliate company through the Limo Anywhere system, through LANet, um, to fulfill uh, because you can't fulfill the trip for some reason. Uh, usually that's when you don't have a vehicle available that was requested, or maybe the trip was outside of your service area. And then there's farm in, which is the exact opposite of farm out. So when your company receives a trip from a Limo Anywhere affiliate over the Limo Anywhere network, that is considered a farm in. Next up is vehicle types. Vehicle types are categories used to classify the different kinds of vehicles in your fleet. Um, it helps you organize your fleet based on the main characteristics of the vehicle. So like, you know, common examples, sedans, SUVs, stretch limos, vans, buses, or shuttles. Those are going to be your vehicle types, um, which differs from the specific vehicles in your fleet, which we're going to talk about next. Fleet. In Limo Anywhere, fleet refers to the collection of vehicles your company owns or has access to for providing your transportation services. 
So think of fleet as your core representation or digital representation of all the vehicles that are under your management or that are uh, that you're able to utilize. Each vehicle in your fleet will have an assigned vehicle type, its own license place number, VIN, and all the other type of information that would typically be attached to a vehicle. Next up is rate groups. Rate groups in Limo Anywhere are a way of defining how different rates within your system relate to each other and how they calculate to produce the grand total. So rate groups are categories of rates. Each rate you create or each line item you create that represents your pricing in Limo Anywhere will belong to a certain rate group. And the primary purpose of these things are to decide how a particular line item will calculate against other line items. So rate groups determine how your percentage rate line items interact with your other rate line items. Rate groups matter because they are how you are going to get your final charge on your reservation. Next up is rate matrix. A rate matrix in Limo Anywhere is a structured tool to define and apply pricing strategies for your transportation services. Let's say you use different rate books for different seasons. You know, these are rate matrices. You can also assign different rate matrices to accounts and specific vehicle types as well. Lastly, we have system mapping. So in Limo Anywhere, system mapping allows you to define custom statuses that reflect the different stages of your reservation process, like new, confirmed, on location, stuff like that. This is important because your statuses and everyone else's statuses aren't the same. And so you need to map those to very specific categories that exist inside of Limo Anywhere. That is going to wrap up some terminology that you may not have heard of as you start using Limo Anywhere. Congratulations, if you made it through part one, two, and three, you've completed the Getting Started video series. In the next video series, we're going to walk you through on how to set your system up from start to finish so you can start taking reservations and start generating income. Don't forget, if you have questions or have any suggestions, you can email support at You can also leave a comment with any questions or suggestions that you have. Thank you.